Quick, graph y equals 1 half raised to the quantity of x minus 2 plus 1 by hand two different ways. This is part of the family of functions series. You will need graph paper or you can download this PDF and print it. Press pause as needed any time during this video. First, we need to decide what the parent function is and its shape. The parent function is y equals 1 half raised to the x power. And the shape is this parent function right here, which I like to call an easy chair, but it's facing the opposite way than what the y equals 2 to the x does. We need to identify the parameters. Those are the values in the expression that affect the graph. In this case, there are two different parameters. And how do they affect the graph? Well, the plus 1 shifts all points up 1, including the asymptote, which will go from y equals 0 to y equals 1. It also affects the origin. Minus 2 is inside the exponent and shifts each point to the right 2, which also affects the so-called origin. And the new origin will be at 2, because we're shifting to the right, comma, 1, because we're shifting up 1. So we'll plot 2, comma, 1. That'll be our new origin. And that's all points will be plotted relative to this new origin. So let's go ahead and do the 1 half to the x dance. So that's right 0 up 1 from that new origin there, because 1 half raised to the 0 is 1. Write 1 up a half, because a half raised to the first is a half. Write 2 up a quarter. If you square a half, you get a fourth. Going in the other direction, left 1 up 2, because 1 half raised to the negative 1 is a reciprocal of a half, which is 2. And left 2 up 4, reciprocal of a half is 2, squared is positive 4. So now we can go ahead and connect the points and make it look like an easy chair type curve. We'll compare it to the parent function, and you can see that very similar curve. It has been shifted to the right and also down. Second way is using a table. Here's our table of values we normally use for y equals 1 half to the x. The minus 2 inside the exponent shifts each point to the right 2, so we have to add 2 to each x value to shift it to the right. So 2 plus 2 would be 4, 1 plus 2 would be 3, and so on. Press pause as needed any time. The plus 1 adds 1 to each y value. So 1 fourth plus 1 would be 1 fourth plus 4 fourths, which is 5 fourths. So we can plot 4, 1 and a quarter. A half plus 1 would be a half plus 2 halves, which is 3 halves. 3 comma 1 and a half. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2, 2. 2 plus 1 is 3, 1 comma 3. And 4 plus 1 is 5, 0, 5, which is our y-intercept also. We can now go ahead and draw the asymptote, and it looks like this is leveling off at the line y equals 1. So we'll go ahead and draw that line in at y equals 1. And connect the points to make it look like a, an easy chair. Compare that to the parent function. Now you try one. Graph y equals 1 half raised to the quantity of x plus 3 minus 2. Use either method or both for the practice. Press pause to do this and then resume when you're finished to check your answer. And here's your answer in green, both the graph and the table.